What's up, bros, and welcome to the 112th Lego Ninjago Fake Bar. Now, today I'm going to be showing some more What If Ninjago Had a Zombie Apocalypse customs that I've made. This time I'm just going to be showing some hunters or survivors, I guess. So, let's get down to business. Now, for the first custom in today's video, we have Teen Wu. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a White Vision minifigure from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 1. Then, we're gonna take this crystallized Zane torso piece, except it's reversed, and we also have some printed white arms from a Master Wu minifigure from the Lego Ninjago movie minifigure series blind bags. We also have some golden hands attached, and then we're gonna take the golden dragon armor and pop that onto the torso. Then on the back, we're gonna take this white cape piece and pop that on right there. Then to attach the cape in place, we're gonna take this golden piece and pop that on right there. Then we can actually attach a golden stud, and then we're going to attach Wu's straw hat. Then we're going to take this Teen Wu headpiece and pop that on right there. Then for the last piece, we're going to take this white Zane hood piece from Ninjago Dragons Rising, and then we have the completed Teen Wu custom. Now, for this Teen Wu Customs accessories, we just have the Dragon Bone Blade, as you can see here, and the other accessory technically is already on the minifigure, which is Wu's Golden Straw Hat. Now, I also added this Golden Stud right there so that this can actually be held in a minifigure's hand, so now this minifigure has not only a sword and a shield for combat. Now, this custom minifigure is a Teen Wu custom, technically a modified version, but basically in my What If Ninjago Had a Zombie Apocalypse subseries, just like in the original timeline, a young Wu and some of the ninja are transported to the first realm by Mistake using the Traveler's T, and just like in the original timeline, Lloyd and Nia stay behind, but that's a different thing. The twist is, when the ninja and Wu get to the first realm, Cole is actually already infected, and I already showed Cole as a zombie in the past video for this subseries. So Cole starts turning into a zombie, and eventually the zombie infection spreads to the first realm. So that's why things get tricky in the first realm, and eventually the ninja and now Teen Wu, after getting the golden armor and the rest of that stuff, they go back to Ninjago with the help of the surviving members of the dragon hunters, but most of them have been turned into zombies due to coal, so yeah, basically Wu and the ninja messed up the first realm, basically, since they didn't know that coal was already infected. But yeah, that's basically it for this Teen Wu custom. Now for the second custom in today's video, we have Faith. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from Mercy from Overwatch. We're gonna take this brown belt mold piece from Star Wars. Then, we're gonna take this random Dragon Hunter torso piece from Ninjago Hunted. Except we have this silver arm with an orange hand and this evil mech CMF printed arm with an orange hand. Then, we're gonna take this cape piece from a random Mandalorian from the second mandalorian battle pack we're gonna take this black armor piece and pop that on right there then we're gonna take this random dragon hunter head piece and pop that on right there and then for the last piece we're gonna take this random black ponytail hair piece pop that on and then we have the completed faith or heavy metal ghost on so, in this universe, basically after the demise of the top hat asshole that was leader of the Dragon Hunters, after he gets put in his place by Teen Wu, Heavy Metal or Faith becomes the leader of the Dragon Hunters and, well, the first realm is already zombie filled, mainly because the dragons have been turned into zombies, like most of the dragons in the first realm are zombies now, so this basically means that the realm is unlivable, and that's why Heavy Metal or Faith decides to 
leave with Teen Wu and the rest of the ninja to go to Ninjago to seek refuge because the first realm is just way too dangerous with most of the dragons and most of the dragon hunters turned into zombies thanks to Cole. So yeah, that's basically it for Faith or Heavy Metal. Now for the third ghost dome in today's video, we have Masako. Now, the legs of this ghost dome minifigure are just some dual molded legs from I believe series 24 or 23. Then, we're gonna take this random Star Wars torso piece from the Freemaker Adventures I believe. We also have some sandy green arms and some brown hands attached. Then. We're going to take this brown fur upper piece and pop that on. Then we're going to take this Misako headpiece and pop that on. And then for the last piece, we're going to take this gray hair piece, pop that on. And then we have the completed Misako ghost doll. Now in this universe, Misako eventually becomes the leader of the Explorers Club, now deemed the Explorers Guild. Basically, because the original leaders were either killed off or turned into zombies, Misako stepped up and took control of the group and turned it into a group for finding places for the last members of humanity to live and survive because, well, the earth is just filled with zombies and most of the realms are now zombie infected, so the guild's mission is to find places for the last living people to survive and live at. So Misako is the head of all that and they do sometimes coordinate with the zombie resistance. So yeah, the two groups kind of work together occasionally. So that's basically it for this Misako custom. Now for the fourth custom in today's video, we have the second in command of the Explorers Guild, Clutch Power. Now, the legs of this ghost of minifigure are from a casual Dick Grayson minifigure from the Lego Batman movie minifigure series Blind Bags. Then we're going to take this random torso piece from Lego Dreams. We also have some brown arms and some yellow hands attached. Then we're going to take this dark blue hoodie piece and pop that on the torso. Then we're going to take this Nexo Knights clay headpiece and pop that on right there. Then we're gonna take this random brown hair piece, pop that on. And then we have the completed Clutch Powers custom, although if you want, you can also swap out the hair for his iconic helmet and bam. So in this universe, Clutch Powers is a younger version, so he's more similar to the original Clutch Powers from the movie, not like the old asshole Clutch Powers from Ninjago. I don't like that version of Clutch Powers at all, it's an embarrassment, so this version of Clutch Powers is based off of the original younger version. And he's part of the Explorers Guild, and he's actually the second in command right under Misako. Misako is kind of like a mentor for him, so he goes on missions with members of the group and his team to find places for survivors to stay in the low at so zombies don't get them. Basically finding a safe refuge, so yeah, that's basically it for Clutch Powers. Now for the fifth and last ghost um, in today's video, we have Master Wu. Now the legs of this ghost um, minifigure are from Moon Knight from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 2. Then we're gonna take this Wu torso piece from Possession, and we also have some Printed white vision arms from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 1. We also have some gray hands attached, and then we're going to take this white cape piece and pop that on right there. Then we're going to take this Wu headpiece and we're going to attach this Wu beard piece and pop that on right there. And then for the last piece, we're going to take this light gray straw hat piece and then we have the completed master Wu custom. So this custom minifigure is basically Wu after the effects of the time blades have worn off and he's old again and when he's given the golden armor and the dragon bone blade to Lloyd. So yeah this is basically just an older version of Wu a few years after the teen Wu thing so yeah that's basically it for this custom. 
But anyway, that's basically it for the 112th Lady Ninjago Fake Bar. I hope you bros enjoyed these five customs that I've made for my What If Ninjago Had a Zombie Apocalypse sub series. So, for the next video, I'm probably going to be showing some more zombies, so stay tuned. Feel free to check out my other videos, I mostly make custom minifigures. Have a great day, Godspeed bros.